Okay, let's pick up where we left off with a chi-squared test of independence. So we're trying to see if whether the size of the choice set, um, six jams or 24 jams, makes a difference um, to whether people stop and try the jams. And earlier we had calculated the expected count and used that to calculate a chi-squared statistic. Now we have to decide, is this chi-squared statistic big enough to be convincing to us? So there's two ways to do that. We can do it with the distribution calculator, or we can do it with analyze fit y by x. So let's do the distribution calculator first. Um, so again, we're gonna be using the chi-squared distribution. We saw before that this one has only one degree of freedom. We use this formula, number of rows minus one times number of columns minus one. We're gonna pick greater than because that's always um, the choice when we're doing a chi-squared test. And then we put in 12.790. We're putting in our chi-square statistic as the value. Um, so let's do that and see what p-value we get. Oops, you can't really see it, but um, I'm gonna go to the add-ins, teaching modules, distribution calculator changing it to chi-square, and I want one degree of freedom, and I'm going to put in 12.790, that's my test statistic, and pick greater than. So this value that's given to me, that's my p-value, 0 0.0003, that's my p-value. Okay, so I've got a couple questions for interpretations. Um, you may notice that they're very, very similar to the questions that were in the previous uh, video, the one about the goodness of fit test. Um, but let's go ahead and stop one more time just to make sure that you have plenty of practice with this. Um, so complete the, the statements. The first one asks you to interpret the p-value as a probability. Um, and the second one asks you to state your conclusion in context. Um, so pause the video, make sure you know how to fill in those statements. So remember, the p-value is telling us how likely would we be to get results like this if the null hypothesis were actually true. So if we wanna say if the null were true, this means if the chances of stopping at the tasting booth were really the same for large and small choice sets. Um, so if they were really the same, sample results like ours would be unlikely. So the reason that we say unlikely is because we have a small p-value here. Okay, so to conclude, um, since our p-value is smaller than alpha is 0.05, that means that we have sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a relationship. So remember, we're always trying to conclude the alternative hypothesis. So the alternative here is that there is a relationship between the size of the choice set and whether a customer stops. So we're concluding the alternative hypothesis. Okay, so you can calculate the chi-squared statistic by hand and then you can use a distribution calculator to get the p-value. Um, a little bit faster way is just to let Jump do all of it for you and analyze fit y by x. Um, and we've actually already seen this because this is how we made our two-way tables um, and our mosaic plots, but I'll show you one more time. Okay, so we're going back to this Jam Choices data set. We're doing analyze fit y by x. Um, and for now, we're just looking at whether the customer stopped. That's our response and the size of the choice set, that's our explanatory. Of course, we need to put our counts in the frequency box. So this is, as part of the output, um, we have the Pearson chi-square statistic, 12.790, we calculated that earlier, and then also the p-value. Notice how it's labeled as the same as for a goodness of fit test, the probability greater than chi-square. So we can get that output there. So just going back to the notes, um, a couple things to jot down here. 
Um, the reason we have to put counts in the frequency box is because data were given in a table. So again, if you have a long data set where you have one row per individual, you can skip this step. Um, and then we're using the Pearson one, so we can actually mark out likelihood ratio if we want. Um, we're not going to use that one. So this chi-squared, this is our test statistic. And then over here, the probability greater than chi-square, that's our p-value.